China, a nation experiencing a significant surge in population growth, requires extensive mega-projects to cater to its pressing needs. The country has undertaken the construction of highways, dams, and bridges on an unprecedented scale. In this video, we will explore the extraordinary mega-projects in China that have fundamentally transformed the country. Number 4. Beipan Jiang Bridge the Beipan Jiang Bridge holds the record for being the highest bridge worldwide. It crosses over the Beipan Jiang Grand Valley and has a total drop of 565 meters, much higher than the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, which is only 67 meters high. To understand its incredible height, you could fit the entire New York One World Trade Center under this bridge. This amazing bridge connects the mountainous provinces of Zhuangwei in Yunnan and Shuichang in Guizhou, making a journey that used to take 4 hours now less than an hour. Besides being convenient, the bridge provides breathtaking views of the surrounding scenery. It is often covered by clouds and mist because it is so high up. Guzhou province, which has many mountains, needs large bridges like the Beipan Jiang Bridge to connect its regions. Three of the world's five highest bridges are in this province, and all five are in China. However, building a project on a mountainside has its challenges. Architects had to keep changing the bridge's location to higher positions to avoid caves and prevent damage to the karst mountains on either side of the valley. It's important to note that while the Beipan Jiang Bridge is the highest in terms of its deck height, it is not the tallest overall. The Milau Viaduct in France holds the record for being the tallest bridge, standing at 343 meters. The difference lies in the fact that the tallest bridge is determined by its overall structure, while the highest bridge is ranked based on its deck height. Apart from building bridges over rivers and mountains, China is also involved in constructing enormous underwater tunnels. Number 3. Taihu Tunnel Lake Taihu is one of China's largest freshwater lakes and a popular spot for tourists. Instead of constructing a bridge that would spoil the scenery, China opted to build a tunnel underneath it. This tunnel, stretching almost 11 kilometers, is now one of the longest highway tunnels globally. Lake Taihu is located in Jiangsu province in eastern China. The Taihu Tunnel connects the motorways of Changzhou, Suzhou, and Wuxi and its purpose is to alleviate traffic congestion between Shanghai and Nanjing. Unlike the Beipan Jiang Bridge, which faced weather-related concerns, an underground tunnel doesn't have such worries. However, the main risk for drivers in this tunnel is the potential loss of concentration due to the long straight road. To address this, the road is equipped with thousands of LED lights to keep drivers visually engaged throughout the entire journey. Underground tunnels can be constructed using various methods. For the Taihu Tunnel, coffer dams were used to drain waters from the construction area, creating a dry space separated from the lake. Essentially, the building site was a dry lake bed, and the cars now travel at the bottom of the lake. Ventilation shafts were also built, cleverly disguised across the lake. Some of these shafts resemble small islands, a con-shaped statue, or an ancient boat. As Lake Taihu is an important tourist destination, the tunnel was designed to preserve its natural beauty. While you can call the Taihu Tunnel as one of the longest road tunnels globally at 11 kilometers, the title for the world's longest, however, goes to Lairdal Tunnel in Norway. However, China is contemplating surpassing that record with a proposed 90-kilometer railway tunnel between Yantai and Dalian. This highlights China's ongoing advancements in high-speed rail, which leads us to our next topic. Number 2. China's Massive High-Speed Rail Network In October 2010, China set a new record for having the fastest bullet train in the world. This train can travel 200 kilometers between Hangzhou and Shanghai in less than 45 minutes. Two years later, in 2012, China opened the longest high-speed railway line, which runs from Beijing to Guangzhou. This greatly reduced the travel time from 24 hours to only 8 hours, making the journey one-third of its original duration. China has been quietly leading a revolution in high-speed rail and has completed an impressive 38,000 kilometers of rail since 2008. 
To give you an idea, it would take 40,000 kilometers to travel all the way around the Earth. Railways play a crucial role in the modern economy and are a symbol of economic prosperity. China aims to connect every part of the country and has constructed railway tracks in extreme climates, such as the Gobi Desert and the ice city of Harbin. They have even built railway lines in anticipation of future cities. For example, the Beijing Xiong'an Intercity Railway provides access to the Xiong'an New Area, a city expected to be developed in 2035. This approach is similar to what European colonizers did in North America, where they built railway lines for towns and cities they plan to establish later. China continues to push boundaries in railway technology. In January 2022, the Fujing bullet train successfully operated without a driver making it the world's first ever driverless bullet train. However, China faces competition in its railway revolution. Japan currently holds the record for the fastest bullet train, reaching speeds of 602 km per hour. Nevertheless, when it comes to the size and scale of its high-speed rail network, China stands in a league of its own. While China has been rapidly developing its roads and railways, it has also embarked on a more ambitious infrastructure project. Gradually, China has been venturing into the space race, often matching or surpassing the milestones achieved by the USA and Russia. This brings us to our final mega project. Number 1. The biggest radio telescope in the world. In 1994, Nan Rendong, a prominent Chinese astronomer, had a vision to create a radio telescope like the Arecibo Telescope in Puerto Rico. China's existing telescopes were much smaller, only 25 meters in size, but Rendong aimed for something 20 times larger. Over the course of 10 years, Rendong and his team searched for a suitable location in southwest China to build their new telescope. They eventually discovered the Dawadong Depression in Pingtang, where the telescope stands today. This valley was bowl-shaped, able to support the telescope's weight and allow groundwater to drain from the site. After more than 20 years since its initial design proposal, the radio telescope was finally constructed in 2016. It now holds the title of the world's largest telescope, with a diameter of 500 meters. The telescope consists of over 4,000 aluminum panels that can be individually adjusted to focus on radio waves from space. The remote mountainous area was chosen to minimize the presence of nearby towns. However, the project faced controversy, as the villagers living near the area had to be compensated with cash or housing. Ironically, the relocation budget amounted to approximately $230 million, which exceeded the cost of the telescope itself. Currently, the telescope is being utilized to study fast radio bursts, which are brief flashes of energy that emit more power in milliseconds than the sun does in a year. China is eager to understand the nature of this phenomena. In 2017, the telescope made its first discovery of pulsars and has since detected over 660 of them. A cluster of powerful computers processes 38 billion samples per second from the telescope, generating highly detailed maps of the incoming radio signals. Some experts speculate that these signals could potentially indicate the presence of advanced extraterrestrial life. Sadly, Nan Rendon was diagnosed with lung cancer in 2016. Despite his illness, in September of that year, he traveled 2,000 kilometers from Beijing to Guizhou to witness the culmination of 22 years of work and research. He passed away a year later. But his incredible legacy lives on through this remarkable telescope. What an amazing array of mega projects that truly transformed the country. It seems that China's future is secured. With preceding incredible mega projects such as these, only more and better developments can follow. And there you have it, China's spectacular mega projects. If you enjoyed watching this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.